So what we are going to see now is we'll see what is on uh, daily cascade. After understanding this, we'll see what is on daily setner. So these two concepts with respect to foreign keys, we'll see that. Uh, see, I have created two tables earlier, right? One is a uh, student table, select star from student. So this uh, table, the foreign key is SID. This is nothing but the school ID. And I also created a school table, select star from school. So this SID is actually from this uh, school table. So there is a link. So this is a foreign key. What does that mean? Whatever value I enter here, should be present in the school table and whatever value I enter here should be a primary key or a unique key in the parent table. So here SID is a primary key, so it exists only once. It has a uniqueness. So there is no repetition of 111. So by that, I'll be able to find what is the school that uh, this uh, student belongs to. Say Satish belongs to the school ID triple one and the school name for triple one is scope and the location is SJT. So we were able to establish a foreign key in our previous class. So I hope you all have understood how to write queries using all the table commands to establish foreign keys and also establish foreign keys while you create tables. So foreign key is a table level constraint. That also we have understood by we are creating tables and establishing foreign keys. So now we have to understand this on delete cascade. For that, I'll ask a question. The question is, what happens if I delete this record from the school table? If I delete this record from the school table, what will happen to the student table? So if I am deleting this record, uh, 111 will not be present in the school table. So if it is not present in the school table, and if it is present in the student table, what will happen? So now again, Satish is an student of school ID triple one, which will not be in the school table. So it again leads to some data integrity uh, problems, right? So can we really delete this record from the school table? That is the question, because there is a clear relationship between the school table and the student table. If I delete this record, all the records here will have some bad data. That is, the, these students will belong to a school that is actually not present in the school table. Such kind of things might happen. So what I will try to do is I will try and delete this record from the school table. So it is daily from school where school ID is equal to triple one. Say when I try to delete this, it was not allowing me. It is not allowing me to delete. That is because, you know, if I delete this, all these four records will uh, become, uh, will carry bad data in it. So you cannot delete. Right? Once when you establish a foreign key constraint, you cannot delete the parent key without deleting the student records. Say, for instance, I can delete all these four child records. Then there is no triple one here. Then I can delete this particular school record. So that is the uh, process. If you want to delete the parent record, first you have to delete all the child records associated with it, and then you can delete the parent record. But if there is a foreign key relationship and you try to directly delete the parent record, then definitely it, you will get this violation. Say violated child record that is we are deleting this whereas we have a relationship of that data in this table so to uh, solve this or it's we have a concept called on delete cascade what it does what it helps us with this okay if i delete this record automatically <coughs> it will cascade that is automatically it will take all the records in the child table so it knows these are the records mapped to this item in the child table. Automatically, all these records will be removed from the child table. So that is the on delete cascade rule. You understood this? Okay. 
So what on delete cascade helps us with foreign cases when I delete the parent record, it will allow me to delete it, but at the same time it will delete all the corresponding child records tagged to this parent key. So we will go and take a look at this. Now when I try to delete this, I was not able to delete. Now I will alter this uh, foreign key, whatever that was there on the table. Let me see what is the foreign key established. So let's see all the keys. So select stop from select constraint uh, name from user underscore constraints. Where uh, table underscore name is equal to we have this uh, student. So we have this one foreign key, right? What I will do is I will first drop this uh, alter table student of constraint. Constraint name is student underscore SID underscore foreign. So let me drop this uh, constraint and again reestablish uh, this foreign key constraint using an alter table command. So it's alter table. Uh, before that, we have to take a look at what is the column that is a foreign key? It is SID in student table and it refers to school tables SID. So we will again establish this alter table uh, student. Add constraint. What is the constraint we are going to add? Con we have to give the constraint name that is student underscore uh, column name is SID and FR for foreign key. The constraint is foreign space key. Which column in the student table SID references which table school table and which column in the school table SID. Now we will give this uh, particular clause that is on delete cascade. So if I delete the parent record, delete all the corresponding child records. That's the meaning. So now now I have altered the table. We'll go back to the same scenario. Select star from uh, student and select staff from school. So now we have established the same foreign key with this clause that is on delete cascade. What we will do now is we will delete the parent record and see what happens. So let me delete delete staff from school where ID is equal to 111. Earlier it was not allowing me. Now let's see. Uh, delete from school. OK. Delete from school where ID is equal to 111. Invalid. OK, it's SID. I'm really sorry. Uh, <laughs> delete from school where SID is equal to 111. I'm just deleting this uh, particular record now. Let's see what happens. One row deleted. So this row has been deleted from the school table. Is it there in the school table? Select star from school. That row is deleted. So what happened to the student table? Is it going to have all these ones? We'll go and check that. Select star from student. See, all those records are automatically deleted. So it is like we are trying to prevent bad data inside a table. For this, we have a clause. We have a condition that you can give while you're creating foreign keys that is on delete cascade. So what on delete cascade does when you delete the parent key automatically all the child records tagged to that parent key will be removed so as to avoid any bad records. If you don't remove them, what will happen? You will be having students who are mapped to a school, but that school will not be in your school table. So that is on delete cascade. You might have guessed what is on delete set null. It is uh, very simple. That is if I delete, say I have only one more record in my school table. If I delete this, what it will do is it will not delete the student record corresponding to the school. It will just set this foreign key to be null. Say there will be a situation wherein I don't want to lose my student records, but only the foreign key I want to set it to null. So in that case, what it will do is it will go to the student record. Whatever uh, value that is there will be mapped to null. So it will it will be set to null. That's the right way to put up. So on delete cascade will delete the entire record. Set null will set the foreign key column to null. So how to 
practice this. Let's go back and uh, let's uh, view the constraint on our table. Select constraint underscore name from user underscore constraints. Uh, where table underscore name is equal to uh, student. So we'll drop this constraint alter. Table student drop constraint constraint name is student underscore SID underscore FR. Again, let me establish this constraint with the clause on delete set null. So for that, we'll give alter table student add constraint. Constraint name is student underscore SID underscore FR and foreign key. One of the common mistakes that students do is while they're establishing foreign keys, they will give F O or I E G N. It lead to a syntax error and it will be very difficult to spot it because the query will look exactly it look perfect. Even when I look at it, I may not be able to spot it, but it will throw an error still. So we'll keep on wondering what is the error. The only error is it's the spelling mistake there. Foreign key of which uh, column here school ID. Uh, references uh, which is uh, table school tables uh, column SID. Now we'll give the clause it's on delete set null. On space delete space set space null. Now we'll go to this uh, select star from student. We have the student one record and select star from school. So we have one record of the school. Now I'll delete this uh, school record. So it's delete uh, from school where ID is equal to SID. Say SID is equal to 112. So when I delete this, it's deleted. What is there in the school table? All the records are deleted. Now what will happen to the student table? So this uh, value is deleted, right? So what will happen to the student table? Select star from student. You see the foreign key was set to null, whereas the student uh, information was maintained. So that is uh, on delete set null. On delete cascade will delete the entire record map to that parent key. On delete set null will only set the foreign key value to null in the child record. So I hope you all have understood the difference between on delete cascade and on delete set null.